All right, Ernest. Here we're testing out the new reference uh, bench rail we got. All right. Here's our crony. All right. We can set this up as recoil or non-recoil. All right. The whole thing weighs about 40 pounds. There's no movement. We had a really right stuff here. Ball head can support 50 pounds. There is my elevation adjustment. Winnage using this. Now, we're gonna do some actual accuracy tests on this liner using the test slug. And here's our cardboard at 52 yards. There's nothing on there. So let's set it up. We're going to set this up. Let's see. Recoilless. Then we'll test it with the recoil and see which one has a better group. And let me, uh, so you can see the crony. I will take a six shot group. We got the slugs in there. We're taking all the human error out of this uh, testing, even the scope. We're using a Trigger pull. 1, I lost count. I think this is five or six on there. 1,018. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Maybe let's add one just in case. 1,021. Now we're going to raise up the point of impact. And, and this one is going to recoil. We'll set it all the way forward and it'll recoil. All right, is it this group? Probably recoil about a half an inch. This is a 44 grain slug. Let's peak a cup. Lost track of counting here. I look like one, two, three. Let's pick us five there. All right, let's go walk down there. Yeah, I just uh, put this together, this bench rail. It's out of my new 10 by seven uh, lathe. And it minimized me eye straining, all right? Then eliminate all those human error to get it 
testing of groups. This is what I do when I test a lot of liners. Remove the human error out of it. Here we go, let me, okay. This first group, this is 52 yards. I don't know what, I didn't measure it, but that's the one is fixed. It prevents recoil. Now in this next group, it's allowed to recoil about half inch. It looked like the, the recoiled one is more accurate than the fixed one. It's this testing. Wow. All right, we need to take this further out. Later.